It's been 10 years. You start to forget the things you should remember. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and today was the day the Xbox One was dropped and that may not be the biggest part on your mind of today, but what was included was the Call of Duty Ghosts trailer and other looks into the actual development of the game. This is something that a lot of people were looking forward to, a lot of people were having awesome thoughts about and something that I certainly was not disappointed about. I want to hear your thoughts about the trailer down in the comment section below as well. We're going to have a lot of stuff to cover about this trailer, but my initial reaction was actually I loved it. I really did. I thought it was really well put together. Everybody's saying, oh, it's not some real gameplay. It's pretty right. So what? It's supposed to tell a story. But in my opinion, I think this is one of the best ways they can go about revising the Call of Duty franchise itself by putting together a whole new story, a whole new system of cinematics and motions. And I'll cover that in a video later on, either today or tomorrow, about the new engine and all the uh, changes going into the game and mechanics itself, something that you can take and then translate into your gameplay experience. But the trailer itself focuses on the storyline as well as throwing action in there, as well as the hints that were given. Similar to the stuff like the coordinates to Venezuela as well as to the Arctic, setting the storyline scene as well as incorporating all that we were teased to believe what we were going to see and they're actually just throwing it all together, putting us in a loop and getting us acclimated with what's going to come here. Now I do apologize about talking over pretty much the entire trailer, I'll have a link to the actual trailer itself down in the description below, both to save me some copyright trouble as well as to let you guys see if you have not seen it already, which you may have already seen and you may have not, but regardless, let's jump right into the actual breaking down of the trailer itself. There's a lot to go over and a lot that we need to cover in order to get our full grasp on the scope of the trailer and what we're being given. The first scene that we see is it looks to be a raining hellstorm of some sort of projectile. That being said, this looks to me like a flashback because the words said are, it's been 10 years, and at that point in time, it's kind of like, okay, this is an aftermath setting, it's something post-apocalyptic, and if we're going on the same terms of all the rumors and speculations that have been going around, well, to me, these raining fireballs aren't just any sort of projectile, they could be nuclear missiles. Enter the second scene, and now we have our setting for a fact. Take a look at the flag underneath the broken United States flag. Well, that is in fact the California state flag. So, as I guessed, I was taking a guess there was going to be in California someplace, most likely Los Angeles, though that is not entirely confirmed at the moment. We know it is somewhere in California itself, as well as this nuclear disaster, it looks like. Well, we have an ash cloud, and then what looks to me like a huge crater. At first, I'm like, wait a second, why is the church kind of suspended over a cliff? Well, to me, I think that's not a natural made cliff. That looks like a giant crater where a bomb would go off, where some sort of blast radius occurred in which this man-made cliff was the result of that. Now to reiterate the fact of a nuclear disaster, well, we enter the third scene with a broken churchyard and a statue almost toppled over of an angel, and to me at first I thought maybe this was some sort of place elsewhere in the world, but the palm trees are relative to California. These are right around the Los Angeles area, you can find some, and this to me looks like the lower Californian architecture in the buildings slash church, whatever this is, and this is just reiterating the fact that California itself is in a state of crisis as well as the actual country, but California was the main place of attack. Then enters in the quote, you start to forget the things you should remember, as in the old homeland that the United States once was, the world before this post-apocalyptic place. Then afterwards, once we enter the jungle, it looks to me like the Amazon, maybe, possibly, uh, but that is right at the edge of Venezuela and Caracas, which we were led to believe before was a main place of event, and this is where it is, and then we're going to pick up with the second half of the quote, and you can't stop remembering the things you should forget. If there's one thing Call of Duty does well, it is the way that they set a storyline behind the words that are said and to me at this point in time whenever the crew of whatever this may be is falling through the ice shield in what is probably the Antarctic well at that point in time it to me feels like that was a past group something that should be forgotten to move on but you can't help but remember something similar to like post-traumatic stress disorder we're told that we have always had the power but not anymore and at this point in time this leads me to believe that America is now the underdog 
underdog. They're in this disarray that they don't know what to do, and the world is kind of stomping on them. There's some rumors that the ghosts would be rogue operatives, ones that were kind of kicked out and now freedom fighters, but it is quite the opposite now. It is the remnants of what the army's best once were, from rangers to seals to everything else. They're the spec ops that make up the elite of what is left. And now I want you guys to pay attention to these scenic areas in this trailer. Well, they all seem to be either in California or some massive city or in a jungle of some sorts. And to me, the jungle is really reminiscent of the Amazon itself because Venezuela is right around the border of where the Amazon is. And with all the action shots of what looks to be soldiers in Invading the area in the woodlands of Venezuela, well, to me, that leads me to believe that we're going to have our first antagonist that is of Southern American descent. And yes, I know I'm going to get some people saying, oh, what about Raul Menendez? He was Southern... No, he was actually Nicaraguan. So... This is still prime area for Call of Duty and Activision to divert into and go into a Southern American antagonist. This is something that they haven't done because Call of Duty has either embodied a Russian, a German, or in Raul Menendez's case, a Nicaraguan for the antagonist of the actual game storylines. So although we do not see anything of an actual villain or an antagonist, well, I'm going to take the wild leap of faith and say that our bad guy is going to be of Southern American descent. A couple of seconds later, we get a nice freeze frame of the original Ghost Mask. And is this Simon Ghost Riley in the listed flashbacks that he was to be in? I don't know, but it looks quite promising, something that the fans are definitely going to feed off of, something that is going to drive the masses into of what they want to see in the storyline and something they can attach onto emotionally. As well, you can get your aqua suits out theoretically because we're going to have a lot of water missions, it looks like. There's a couple cutscenes in which, whether it be from one mission or multiple, you're going to be diverting into the underwater world. You're going to be doing some stuff in the aquamarine fashion. Now next we see a skylight of a busy city with the mountains behind it and to me this is reminiscent of possibly Venezuela. I don't know for sure and I probably won't until the actual game comes out or more information is revealed but we see this building JK and what looks to be the next scene is them rappelling down the actual building into a busy city area. And now what leads me to believe that this is Venezuela is not only the mountains in the background and the jungle looking features to it, well, the actual city itself, whenever they're rappelling down the actual building wall, well, it does a little flip-flop scene of camera where you can see the buildings out in the distance as well, and the one name of the building is Hervas Zamaco, and Hervas is actually a Spanish name. It is something that Whenever you Google it, actually, you get a ton of websites listed all in Spanish. There was only three for me that came up in English. So it's got ties to the Spanish way of life as well as Venezuela. So it makes me believe, at least, that our main areas of interest in this game are going to be Los Angeles as well as Venezuela, Caracas, possibly even the specific city. And then the last thing that really caught my attention was the fact that the submarine comes up out from underneath the ice sheets and where would this be other than Antarctica well I don't see it being anywhere else the coordinates for the Antarctic ice shelf were given to us a couple days ago and to me this just validates the fact that this is going to be a key portion in Call of Duty Ghosts now yes I skipped over some good stuff but at the same time I didn't really know much to think of it other than holy crap this is awesome but needless to say there's a lot still unanswered a lot of rocks still unturned but we'll see that all in time and I'm assuming that we're we're going to be seeing some gameplay at E3 in a couple weeks here, but be sure to stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming out. That has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be bringing you guys another Call of Duty Ghost video specifically about the engine and mechanics of the game itself that we were given hints of and more information about earlier today. I'll be bringing that to you guys later tonight or tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure which one yet. just depends on how the time works out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost information if you are at all interested in the game itself. I'm going to be bringing you guys the latest and the greatest of the news and i will bring it to you guys as soon as i can as soon as i get word of it also share us to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're og like that are greatly appreciated be sure to leave a comment down in the section below i want to hear your thoughts and figures on what all we covered today and just your thoughts in general about the actual trailer but thank you guys once again for watching my name has been equal espresso and as always i hope you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys later peace